Hockey Canada is once again defending its actions to a parliamentary committee, defending its leadership, addressing how allegations of sexual assault have been handled, and where the organization found money to settle those cases out of court. The Minister of Sport is calling for a change in leadership, but the organization is pushing back. Our board, frankly, does not share the view that senior leadership should be replaced on the basis of what we consider to be substantial misinformation and, and unduly cynical attacks. Um, you know, I appreciate that others disagree with us, but our positions are based on the information that we have and an understanding that Hockey Canada has an excellent reputation. At this point, with the current leadership, uh, I've, I don't have hope uh, that, they're, that they have the capacity to renew themselves from within. That's why I'm calling for uh, the 13 voting members to impose that change at Hockey Canada. Now, for her thoughts, we are reaching out now to Teresa Bailey. She is the founder of Canadian Hockey Moms and speaks often about the state of minor hockey in this country. Ms. Bailey, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Listen, I want to begin with your reaction to the revelation that there was not one, but two funds created by Hockey Canada to allegedly settle sexual assault claims. What's your reaction to that? I think that it, again, leads to more questions than answers for me. And it, um, my understanding is that Hockey Canada doesn't define this as an asset, that it was a fund set up uh, for the members, so the provinces, and but similar to the initial fund uh, for the the same purposes. So my question is, if they knew that that was fund was there, why didn't they offer that information before? And the lack of bringing that forward just leads to more questions around transparency. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And many people are, are talking about that. We should point out, though, that Hockey Canada says that since its creation, this second fund has not been used to settle any case. But it's still money, according to the Globe and Mail, which broke the story. Uh, it's still money that the Globe and Mail says was collected through player registration fees. I, I would imagine that hockey parents such as yourself would find that very alarming. I think that that's been a question from the beginning. Why were we never told this? And how do you even begin to find that information out? And uh, that, I think, is the biggest problem, that there is maybe no avenue. Well, I know there's no avenue to get the answers to this question without the Globe and Mail, for example, digging into it. And a lot of the questions could be easily alleviated if the information was more readily available, but it does not seem to be the case. And I think parents are frustrated that they don't understand where their money's going to. And I think everyone's frustrated that it, it's not been handled differently. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, Pascal Sainalange, the Minister of Sport, she says that uh, Hockey Canada needs new leadership. And she says it needs new leadership for treating sexual violence as an insurance problem rather than a systemic problem, a word that you yourself used. Uh, what do you think can be done? Because I'm wondering about the practical impact for any parent out there that's thinking about perhaps enrolling their child in hockey, this, these types of stories, I'm sure, gives them reason to pause. Yeah, I think it's a real problem. And I think, uh, I think that in terms of leadership, I'm, another thing that was said during um, the questioning today was that Hockey Canada has a great reputation. And one of the MPs mentioned, well, it seems like uh, you all think you're doing a great job, but if you ask the rest of Canada, they're not so sure. And I think as leaders, uh, I'm not sure that they're necessarily listening or that people feel that they can speak up um, in these town halls that they're having. I don't know where they are. I don't know where the survey's going that has, I don't know who's done the survey or, or even how many people are being asked to complete the survey uh, for community input. And the, the fact is, even if parents felt like um, they had something to say, if you speak out against people, uh, you know that you could forever, uh, there could be repercussions forever for you or your child in the system. And I suspect that's the same case actually on the board. I cannot believe that everyone on the board felt like uh, they should handle this the same way. The fact that there are no minutes uh, tells me that there were probably some for and against handling it the way that it was, but no one wants to go public against people who might still be in power later because it would probably mean their end in terms of involvement with Hockey Canada. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is a practical solution? Is there one at this point? 
uh, it's, I know that there is a new board of directors being elected. I hope that it's a board that has diversity. I think there needs to be diversity across all levels of hockey, whether it's from Hockey Canada down to the grassroots level. I think that that's one way to change uh, the the problems that are happening here. And I think also that there's an opportunity to gather information, get input in a way that th they say they're doing that through the survey and through the um, town halls. But I'm, I'm not sure that that's necessarily happened because even the survey questions have been um they've been frustrating people because it's more about the appearance of how things are being handled uh, as opposed to actual real change. And I think the other thing maybe that should happen or that should definitely happen is training, governance training across the system, grassroots all the way up. I know that everyone running minor hockey, there's no, um, there's no required governance training to deal with conflict or to really understand the implications of what they're dealing with. And I think that that's an important uh, process. I have no idea what the governance training is, even of the board of directors at Hockey Canada, but to really understand um, that and make it consistent across all of the member agencies would be important. The action plan that's come out, I feel, is a, a reaction plan and we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, we are watching. Uh, Teresa, thank you for this. Really appreciate the time today. Thank you.